Hey guys, what's going on? Chris Ryan V or Roshi Ryan from Nike Talk and Team Roshi. It's been a while since I did a Roshi vid. Um, I haven't picked up any Roshis because either I don't like them, I don't like the material that they're using now. It's not like the original mesh. It's this weird mesh. There's like a couple layers to it. Um, or they're pretty limited. So I mean like the, um, what was it, the British ones, the England the um, Brazil and the, the pretty much the World Cup pack I really wanted, but I wasn't able to grab because they were so limited. Um, and the gold trophies, I wanted those too. Um, so, what we have here today, I finally found these. I got these from Unheard of Brown. Shout out to you guys. They did crazy fast shipping. Um, they're from Cincinnati, Ohio. Check them out. I was going to grab these from End Clothing out in the UK, but I thought they were going to be more expensive, but they're actually the same price. So retail on these is 95 bucks with tax and shipping came out to be 117. So I would definitely uh, wait out until Nike store has these or finish line. So let's get to it. All right, so let's get to it. Like I said before, these are the Nike Roshi Run Natural Motion NM FBs, Natural Motion footballs, um, just like the FBs of last year. So $95, a $25 premium over the regular Roshis. It's funny because the regular Roshis, the regular FBs, were just flat out $70. Um, this one is one of the ones that I wanted when I first saw the pictures. I'm still looking for the Leopard FBs, um, but they're insanely expensive and I don't want to do these. Uh, do that to get them. Uh, so here's the right side and the left side. These are, I thought these were absolute fire when they first showed up in, on pictures. I was just waiting until someone had them, and uh, luckily enough, I called in, was one of the first people to grab them, and like a couple hours later, they actually sold out. So, here we go. We have the Nike Roshi Run NMFB in that dark camo. It's actually dark gray, ivory, and black, I believe it's called. Really, really clean looking sneaker. Um, so, yeah, let's get to it. Uh, let's just make sure we're focused in on there. And... Here we go with the, we have the black natural motion sole, so we are able to uh, bend it like so. You can see they pretty much cut out the, the Roshi sole, and you can do that on this side too. So lateral and uh, vertical motion. There you go. Is it vertical, horizontal motion? Um, it's a lot of bit, it's a little bit easier to walk in. It's more, apparently more comfortable. Uh, this is my first natural motion shoe, so I really don't know what to expect. Um, on the upper, we have this black gray, I don't even know, just uh, shades of gray and black uh, up for the camo print, and I think that's what really sets this thing on fire, and what I think is going to be the selling point of the sneaker right here. I think this will be probably sold out um, once they hit Na um, Nike store and finish line. So uh, definitely try to get yours before everyone else, um, because I really do think they're gonna be gone. So um, we have this white Nike swoosh right here. I think that's the ivory. That's actually really nice. I like that. Uh, there's no pattern inside compared to the um, the mint FBs. It's just one flat. It's pretty much like the leopard, but in white. Um, the laces on here are ridiculous. They're like woven. <laughs> that's like a knot. They remind me of the uh, was it the fly wires? Was it? No, the fly knits. Sorry. Um, it's really early. And that's what the, the laces remind me of. They probably just grabbed them from there. I didn't pick those up. I didn't want to. The sizing on those were really weird. Um, also, we have this really interesting fuse-like material on the upper, uh, on the side here, to on the panels right here. And then we have one um, where the stripe from the tongue ends right there. Speaking of the tongue, we have a black lining throughout. Um, we also have a uh, gray box up there with a ni white Nike swoosh. The pull tab is also uh, of that black right there. Um, the, the insole, actually the inner lining is of that black too. And to pull out this, it's really interesting. Here we have um, a yellow insole and then the upper of that insole is like kind of a fabric. Um, it has a lot of texture on it. It's not like one of those uh, volt insoles that you usually get with Roshis, uh, at least in the original ones. Uh, it's textured, so I don't know how this one will affect like wearing socks or without socks, but this is just interesting. So let's get these on feet for you guys and see what it looks like. All right, guys, here we go with the on feet of the Nike Roshi Run FBs. Um, I went true to size. I went with the size 10. 
Uh, they're a little bit snug, just like most FBs are. But if you want to go half size up, I don't blame you. Uh, these aren't like original mesh, so they won't um, stretch out. But I like the look of them. I'm just wearing shorts right now, but obviously I think during the during the fall, it's definitely going to be a lot nicer. There you go. So like I said, I definitely suggest you grab a pair of these if you find these online from a like a skate shop or a, a local store um, because I they really do think these things will sell out really quickly once they hit uh, Nike.com and Finish Line, probably Foot Locker if you even get these. Um, I think they'll be like every other FBs, I mean, that they will sell out, so. And the hype is like legit with these, I think. And that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. It's been me, Chris Ryan B, or Roshi Ryan from Nike Talk and Team Roshi. And I'll see you guys later.